So what is up guys and girls? I'm coming at you today from my house. The finger has not healed. So as a result, I'm not riding. But I am trying to catch up on some videos. One of the videos that I want to talk to you about today has to do with the update to my Mark Psycho Works Bandit Dream Build. So I want to start this one off by giving a huge shout out to the team over at Spark Psycho Works because without you guys, this build would not be happening. Huge shout out to the boys over there at Powerful Lithium because without you, this also would not be happening. And the latest shout out is going to be to the team over at Arcane Bikes for powder coating. Those guys are hooking me up. So where has this bandit been? This bandit has been undergoing some custom modifications. I opted to go with a metal enclosure. So why metal? Because metal can be painted. And once painted, it will add character to this bike. So let's talk about the enclosure. What's going on? Why has it been taking so long? Well, I did mention that it was custom. So getting somebody to custom fabricate an enclosure has been somewhat of a challenge. V from Powerful Lithium plays a pivotal role in making this enclosure a reality. Once we received the enclosure, the enclosure still needed some tweaks, and our boy Arvin over at Inspire Cycles, despite being so busy, took some time and hooked me up. When I got this panel, it was in a rough shape, actually. Everything over there is only tack weld, which is not going to be strong when you mod it. And all the hole is, is, is not in a uh, place uh, properly that we're meant to be. So that I fixed that, had a little bit of texture to that, uh, a curved texture for to mount it. So it's going to be smooth later on down the line. Right away, just by touching this, I can feel that it's on there yeah. really well. It's, just, it's already sturdy. Yeah, it's very sturdy. All right, so what is it that you're doing now? You're so I'm adding... gonna add more bead for this. Uh, gotta add more bead. Not, uh, instead of tack weld, like the last time when I got it, I gotta add more bead every half an inch to an inch at least, or like all around it. So it's gonna be strong and uh, polish it when it's done. Uh, let's talk about time. How much time have you spent? So far, uh, last Sunday, I sp just one panel alone, I spent like almost the whole day to finish it. Yeah, it, it takes time. And, um, but like, it came out nice, so. No, it looks great. It. So, yeah, it looks great. All right, and what are you gonna do now? So I'm gonna add more uh, tack weld around inside mm -hmm. and uh, polish it off afterwards when we got another chance to, to do it. All right, so we're gonna get to see that now? Yeah. All right. So if you see it, you have like a small bubbles, right? Mm -hmm. so that it's called the splatter. Mm -hmm. So instead of having those a lot and grind it off later, mm -hmm. like hard, I'd spray, I mean, this is not what I use. Mm -hmm. so, but it's, it's good to have it, like this one, just to protect it. So I'm still waiting for my uh, anti-splatter, mm -hmm. so, but this one is, it works a little bit okay. Okay. So, so it's, it's, it's just like a protective layer yeah. that you're putting on it to keep it from sticking? Yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll see it, it will have fire on it, but it's not that. I got you. Just, just watch out for it. Okay.
if you remember, you went to Spark Cycle headquarters before. Yes. And you, they let you try the, uh, the TIG welder. Yes. So this version, I'm using the MIG welder right now. So it's it's kind of similar, but it's just, it's different. Right. So this one's just uh, wire feed, and the other one's just like the tungsten and yes. uh, the wire when you weld the, the TIG. And this one just makes splatters. Uh, rather than the uh, tag. Tag is a little bit more clear when you weld. That's why you, you'll see a nice uh, uh, bead for the welder. And uh, uh, almost the same thing when it comes to strong, depending what you're using and which, what you like. I'd prefer this uh, rather than the, uh, the, the tag. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good? Look at all that. No, it's cleaner. A hundred percent. All right, Arvin, I am very happy. I like what, what it is that you're doing over here. Thank I you. cannot wait for the finished product. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. No problem. All right, so there you have it. <clears throat> we are this much closer to getting this dream build of mine completed. So we will end this video with a small sneak peek of some of the parts that will be included in this build. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate. Smash that like button. Leave a comment, because I get back to everybody. And if you want to, please subscribe. So until the next video, peace out, everybody. All right, so I hear a lot of the work from Power for Lithium is coming over here. Inspire Cycles Bike Shop. Let's see what they have going on. <laughs> What's up, Mark? Are you ready for your close-up? <laughs> How are you, man? Oh my God, dude, there are a lot of bikes in here. Holy shit. All of, all of this is for repair or is it? Yeah? Most, most, most of them are lined up right here. That, that is getting... Yeah, repairs too. So repairs, uh, modifications, any modifications? modifications like, you know, batteries. Upgrades? Upgrades, pretty much. Uh, bigger, bigger motors. You, you guys are pretty much busy. <laughs> wait, wait, you guys wait. see the back too. It, yeah, more in the back. If, if somebody wanted to come here, yeah. can you squeeze them in? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. all right, all right, sounds like a plan. Dude, what are you working on? So, this looks like a Super 73 RX. Yes, that's correct. Uh, I'm working on the lights for him, headlight and rear light. Okay. So I'm gonna step down the breaker uh, switch for headlight. Nice, so they don't have Back. to, they don't need a, 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 a battery source. They're gonna use the, the existing battery, right? With the step down? Well, he's upgrading to powerful lithium battery now. So. Wait a minute, is this the guy that came by uh, the other day? Oh, I think I met this guy then yesterday. So that's, Oh, he's not joking around. <laughs> he's getting the 72 volt upgrade. Yep. Oh shit, I see a Sabaton. Is that Sabaton. a Sabaton controller down there? Yeah. Uh, 100 down. Is it staying down there or are you relocating it? Uh, I'm not sure with the owner uh -huh. wants to do that. Uh, but, but, but at least right now that's where it's at and if he anything. Stole it by himself. Oh, okay, okay. So you just, yeah. you just, uh, And I see the Theron that I saw the parts to the other day in, uh, at Powerful Lithium. Uh, he's back here. Mm -hmm. Why is it back? What happened? Oh, he got into a car accident. He oh, got hit by a car. Oh my God, that's horrible. It's sad, yeah. Uh, was there extensive damage? So, so far he got the handlebar broken. He broke the handlebars. Uh -huh. Oh no. Uh, some scratches on the paint, so if we get a read on that. Uh, but most importantly, is he okay? He's okay. Okay, so that's the good. The going to get changed. Okay. As well, because he, he got blend out. Oh wow, it looks so nice though. Why did we get to see it intact? 
I love this touch over here. And I can't help but notice <laughs> one of these. I get to see it up close before an installation. And boy, these are lightweight. Oh man, this is pretty. And who is getting that wheel? Oh, that's JR. So JR. Uh, and which bike is it going on? It's going to the Z1. I believe it's waiting for the RX as well for the front. He has another one coming? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you guys got, you guys got your hands full. Yeah. Uh, this is like a candy for me. Yeah. I see the motor inside there. Motor, powerful with the motor. Who, who's getting this? This one over here? Oh, shit. Oh, man. And then what's in the back? It's a lot of stuff. Is it messy? It's not so bit messy. Oh, all right. So maybe I won't go back there with the camera. But just to know, these guys are holding it down over here at Inspired by. You have your hands full. Yeah. So what are you, are you like staying extra hours to, to take care of all this work? As much as I can. Oh yeah? I can, yes. All right. Um, so far, there's oh. a lot. We got wheels that get rebuilt. The rims. Oh so, shit, that's what that is over there? That's this, uh, oh, so you rebuild wheels. That's cool. See some motorcycle tires over here. Somebody's getting those. Oh man, I don't like the kid in the candy store right now. Oh, upgraded forks, right? Oh, those are them. I believe KKE, yeah, this is KKE. All right. And a new rim. And a rim. So, this is the upgraded shock and upgraded wheel for his. Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Nice. All right. It's like a Super 73 style. Look, yeah. All right. Oh man, I am so happy to see you guys <laughs> packed. You have a full house, a lot of work. But you, you, you got everything under control, right? So far. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so, so that's far. good, that's good. Yeah. All right, so there you have it. If you guys want anything done to your e-bikes, just know that Inspire Cycles Bike Shop has you covered.